Hello, this is Northwest Trains Models. I uh, got another haul video. Uh, it's been, I think it was June the last one I've done. So, this is basically all the stuff I've bought between, well, July um, till uh, last weekend. So, I uh, thought I'd uh, share it and do an update on what I'm up to. Um, we will start off with um, the Southport Model and Hobby Show. Um, this was the only thing I really picked up um you know, i said earlier on in the year that i'm gonna do a little engage layout well over the years i collected these little ews wagons and this one's a um 24 uh 24 ton mineral wagon in the ews livery i think i paid about seven pound for that so it's not too bad it's got metal wheels just quickly take it out and have a look like i said i've got quite a few different uh, wagons now modern uh, image so it's quite nice got metal wheels all the couplings are alright that's the first thing um, like I say I'd engage years ago I haven't really bought much of it but over the last year or so I've been getting bits and bobs to uh, start a layout with. Uh, the next show after Southport was the Carnforth uh, Model Railway Exhibition and the only things I picked up from there really was um, a few bits of track. Um, I can't remember the store where I got these from but basically when I was looking at doing a couple of micro engage layouts I wanted something of a sharper radius to the 9 inch that you get from uh, Pico and um, I remember when I was a kid, I had these uh, mini tricks uh, curves, and um, the first radius went inside the Pico first radius. So I've uh, got a couple of them, I think they're about 50 peaks, but they look in brand new condition. And I think I've got virtually a full oval now. So uh, I'm just on the lookout for a couple of points and some straights. That was a little short straight I picked up as well. Um, there's another stall that regularly gets stuff off called the Junction Box. They go to a lot of shows. I've got this nice little 009 set track point. Um, I think it's £4.50 it said on there. And uh, it's in perfect condition. Nothing wrong with it. So there's that as well. And uh, while I was at the exhibition, I went over to um, Carnforth Models. And... Um, my dad's got a static grass applicator now, so I picked up a few of these to uh, practice with. So I've got some 4mm like green and medium green um, static grass. And I got also, I haven't got them here now, but they've, I've put them away now for the winter. I've got a couple of G-scale wagons, but uh, there was a picture of them on my Facebook page at the time. Right, a um, couple of weeks after that... Uh, I went to the Lee exhibition and never actually bought anything from there. But um, on the Sunday, I went up to um, Fleetwoods to the Blackpool Model Railway exhibition and picked up some nice bits and bobs. From the club store, I picked up these. And again, another future project. But if you remember back to the uh, train set review I've done, uh, Fleshman or Fleischman, I'm not too sure how you pronounce it, but these are only a five weeks metal wheels so I picked up three of these so I say that that's Fleischmann these two are actually mini tricks and I, I had one of these when I was a kid years ago um, they're all in pretty good condition this one's got a bit of paint rubbed off it but I was thinking of uh, like maybe weathering a set so the idea always was to get one or two um, trains for a small layout um, also at the same exhibition I've got myself another one of these little uh, Pico track rubber and um, for my wedding scene I've uh, been looking for figures that are uh, where people dress smartly or dressed in suits that would suit a wedding scene so I found those so I think I can at least use a couple of those for that wedding scene and then I'm sure the others will come in handy somewhere else. So it was that, I think I paid, it was not, just under £9 for them. And also, uh, one I was quite pleased about, if you've seen me other videos where I do um, 
double oh nine gauge um rolling stock kit kits where I make them. I picked up this for uh twenty nine pounds and it's um the Glen Valley Tramway four ton mineral wagon so I've got a pack of five of them and they're usually about at least eight or nine pounds each so for five or four for just under thirty quid that's pretty good. So I've got them to uh do I'll probably do a video of uh, building them and painting them um, so that was it for the Blackpool exhibition now um, my recent purchases on patterns it's already partly on the show I picked up the uh, Gage Master track cleaning wagon as you can see there made by Pico or Pico um, it's a really weighty wagon this as well as quite deceiving when you look at it and my personal favourite is definitely still the dapple track cleaner because that has everything but if you want some you can just plonk on the track and clean your rails for you this is perfect um, as you can see I've already been using it a lot on my layout so um, but yeah it's got the the springs to it it doesn't derail very easily um, it's quite a nice livery as well the way it's been done the only thing I would say is you need a really powerful engine to pull this. Um, I started using um, Bachman Class 20s or 25s to pull it on my layout. The uh, the older Hornby engines if it, I thought would be ideal for pulling this. Couldn't budget at all, even two of them together wouldn't pull it. But uh, a heavy Bachman diesel is uh, ideal for this wagon. But it does do its job, so it doesn't derail or anything. Um, what else have we got? I also got this, which is uh, one of my favourites at the moment. I haven't been able to chip this one up yet, so I'll probably do a running video of this uh, when I chip it up. I've uh, literally I put it on the heritage line because it's on the analog to give it a good running in, ready for the decoder, and it works great. It's got working lights and everything, and um, very nicely detailed, so it's a uh, hundred times better than the older model, which I think uh, would be now classed as a railroad model. Um, and uh, I've got a couple of decoders for that as well. Right, so um, moving on from there, the next. Uh, exhibition I went to was uh, Wigan and that's uh, one of my favourites or it is my favourite exhibition that I go to every year um, Worley might change that though this year because I'm going to Worley but uh, before I go there I missed out one from the Blackpool exhibition I also got four of these 009 straight pieces of track for um, four pounds so they were a pound each so I thought that was pretty good I looked at them they're like brand new never been used so again that was from the club store so if i recommend to you if you ever go to a model railway exhibition always try the the club stores first because they don't really sell stuff for a profit they just do it to raise money for the uh, the club or get money bit of money back for what they've spent so whenever you go to an exhibition definitely go to a club store because a lot of the good stuff doesn't stay there for very long um so right moving back to wigan um Again from one of my favourite stores, the uh, the Junction Box. Again, this is for the N-Gage layout. And the N-Gage layout I've actually started the baseboard for um, yesterday. So hopefully sometime this week, although there's no promises, uh, I'll have to see how I get on work-wise. I'll hopefully have a first update this week sometime on the N-Gage layout. So, but... Going back to the Wigan exhibition, I picked up two sets of these Cotswold Stone Wall, Wool Pack number two and Wool Pack number one. So um I plan on doing quite a scenic layout because it's literally just gonna be a loop with a, a little fiddle yard. And it's just purely so I can run my engage trains that have been sat in the loft for years. And uh, also so I can practice on the scenery side of things. So for five and for all oh, to be honest, I mean, going back, they were they done the both for uh, four pounds each, so it was eight pounds. So I thought that's not too bad. Very nice, 
detailed, I know they're in the packs now, but when I do a layout update, I'll probably do a close up shot of them. And also, um, from the junction box, they had loads of uh, like little buildings needed a bit of work doing to them, but they're only 50 pence each. So, I picked up a few of them and I thought, you know, I could tidy them up or um, do a bit with them. Um, again, a bit of inspiration from the Budget Model Railways channel. So, if you haven't seen them before, take a look at their channel because um, if you want to build a railway on the cheap, um, but still do a very nice job, then uh, take a look at their channel because the stuff they do is brilliant. Um, like you say, for going back to the um, European layout and I'm intending on doing one day, uh, I got these and I thought, you know, nice little half built houses, a bit like a building site, so I could tidy them up a bit and make a nice little scene out of them. So I thought, you know, 50p, you can't go wrong. I don't think even that cost me a penny, to be honest, a little hut. So I'll probably take it off the base and paint it up. And uh, I've got a couple of fish plates for the engage layout. And also at Wigan, there was um, a stall just purely selling paintbrushes. So I thought of all my kit building and stuff. I'm always going through paintbrushes. So there's all different ones there. There's detailing brushes, thicker brushes. So I thought if I get into weathering and, and painting more own stuff, then they're going to last me a while. So I've got all them for a tenner, which isn't bad. And uh, my final purchase from Wigan was uh, from... Uh, I think it's called Diggy Trains. Um, it's actually, it says it's a Hatton's box, but it's a DJ Models 14XX042 um, British Rail Line Green with Lake Crest. So I wanted one of these for a while and I thought, well, I'll get, well, there's no rush in getting one, but now the company's gone bust. I thought, well, Hatton's had sold out of this livery. So I thought um, I better get one while uh, they're still in stock. So um, I picked one of these up. So I'll just have a little look at it. Again, I've given it a running in on the loud before I put a decoder in it. And um, it does run really well. I've seen mixed reviews on these locos. And uh, I say I've, I'm definitely happy with this one. It's a stunning looking engine and it works really smoothly. So um, I might even get um, sound put on that and eventually. But like I say, it was a case of buy it before they went out of stock. And DigiChain seems to have quite a good stock of these, to be honest. So uh, I was quite tempted to get another one either in weathered, like heavily weathered or in the British Rail black livery. And the final thing uh, was... Uh, this Saturday we went to the Model Air Exhibition in Wellington and um, I thought I was after a second train for a European layout and uh, I managed to pick up this. It was uh, £35 on the club store and usually when you see these um, Fleischmann engines, you know, they could quite easily go up to £100, some of them. But I picked that one up and um, I tested it, it works fine and uh, I can't see any anything wrong with it at all just have a quick look at it it's uh, nicely detailed for its size it's got working front and rear lights so I thought you know that's uh, enough to start a layout with now so I just need um, some more track and um, a few scenic items and then I'll probably get that project started um, well that's it for now um, I said the next video will hopefully be um, part one of the engage layout so uh, keep an eye out and uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel and i'll uh, see you next time